Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. And I'm not actually sure that I've reviewed like any Too Faced eyeshadow palettes on my channel. I could totally be wrong, but I don't know. I also have some really cool stuff coming up, so just like to kind of keep an eye out for on my channel, I will be reviewing the Urban Decay Elements palette. And then I also have a huge PR package from Sugar Baby Beauty, and they sent over like some of their makeup, like an eyeshadow palette, and then a bunch of their tanning stuff, which by the way, I I think I don't think I mentioned it, but the bronze radiance cream that I reviewed a couple videos ago in my like Mexico vlog thing, I am so obsessed with. It's like my it's my holy grail like tanning product now so yeah I would definitely recommend that basically uh, sorry it's like early and I kind of have a headache I've been dreaming a lot the past couple nights and last night's dream I had uh, a cougar like a mountain lion I like was in a tree and I spotted it I, it was really scary because it like there's not much you can do against those things so yeah anyway I just woke up from that so that's like where my brain was anyway basically I'm gonna be doing obviously my swatches tutorial all that whole normal thing if you are new here please subscribe to my channel I do a lot of new product reviews obviously and tutorials and just like random stuff so subscribe if you want to okay let's get into it okay let's open it up I really really hope this smells like gingerbread okay this is what the packaging looks like it's like the normal kind of metal packaging for two faced and this is what the palette looks like oh it smells so good it smells like it doesn't smell like gingerbread per se kind of like a Christmas sugar cookie that's what I would say it smells like two three four five so this is a typical Too Faced palette price it's $49 that is pretty expensive but usually they're really good quality and I mean I don't know we're gonna see right now whether it's worth it so mm, it smells so good okay we have ooh burn <laughs> warm and toasty Ooh, pretty. Gingerbread, gumdrop, spiced eggnog, powdered sugar, frostbite me, looky at my cookie. <laughs> These names. Spice is nice. Oh snap. Bake it till you make it. Spice of life. Sugar daddy. Figgy pudding. Hot toddy. Oh my freaking lord. That's a really pretty color. Reindeer paws, gingerbread latte, and spiced rum. Okay, so here are all the swatches. I have to say these swatched so, so, so well. Like, so well. These are really, really beautiful. These shimmers especially, like uh, some of them, they have way more dimension in the swatch than they have in the pan, so I'm really, really excited to try them out. So yeah, these are the swatches, and let's get to an eye look. Instead of going in with concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion, because I actually wanna do like a decent wear test on these. I think I wanna start doing that in my like reviews. But let's go in with Hot Toddy. Okay, that pigment is freaking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is blending out so, so well too. Just like super easily. I'm gonna go in with Hot Toddy now. <laughs> it's such a weird name. This one has some kind of weird like duochrome. I don't know, it's not what it appears. It's like almost pink, you see that? Hmm, would that look good? Or try using that gold. I feel like this is gonna backfire. Well, maybe not, actually. This isn't the most exciting eye look, obviously. I wasn't recording, but I was taking some powdered sugar and just kind of, like, toning it down up here just because I feel like it was getting a little too high up. Now, I'm going to go into sugar... No, no, no. Frostbite me and put it on my inner corner. Yeah, that's so, so, so pretty. Now, I'm just going to take some of that first shade. Spice is nice. Sweep it under. There is a decent amount of fallout, so I'm gonna wipe that off. Ooh, yeah. I need to get better makeup wipes. These ones are from the dollar store and they don't work great. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna leave the eye at this. I'm sorry if it's like, I seem like I'm getting into these kind of boring, like tri-color faded out looks, but that's just, I don't know. I go through phases with looks. Sometimes I like cut creases. Sometimes I like halo eyes. Right now I'm just in this kind of like more color blocky phase, so bear with me but uh, I'm gonna do the other eye and put on some liner and lashes and I'll be right back okay here's the final final look so I'm super super loving it especially just like even more as it came together and I put like mascara and everything on and the other eye I just think it's super super visually impactful I think these shades are so beautiful so 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 nice I really really like these shades um, I'm getting super pumped for the holidays it's not even October yet but um 
getting, getting pumped. But yeah, let me let me tell you my thoughts on this. So obviously, okay, so I tried the shades Warm and Toasty, Hot Toddy, Spices Nice, Powdered Sugar, and Frostbite Me. All of the shades were super, super impressive. Not one of them let me down. Sorry, like I forgot about Too Faced Shadows. Like they are so good. At least like the ones I've tried, I don't know. I'm freaking so into them. You can pack on the shimmers with a fluffy brush and they are still so so pigmented i i love that actually let me go ahead and try one of the shades as a highlight per usual by the way one of my friends annie i'll link her channel right here she was saying like where did you get this brush this is from miss a so this is literally a dollar and i use it every time i do highlight and it's so so good and it costs a dollar so i'm gonna go into um spiced eggnog right there and then i'm gonna spritz Yeah. There's a little bit of a cast, but it's not that bad. Like, it can work for my skin tone. For someone who's a little bit more tan than me, this is gonna be such, such a pretty highlight. I mean, it's gorgeous. Like, I can definitely wear this, so that's awesome. I don't know why, I feel like a wood elf right now. It's probably because I'm wearing a turtleneck. What I think I'm going to do now, I'm gonna cut ahead to a little check-in and show you guys how this wears. Obviously, you guys saw I used the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and then I'm also gonna set this with some all-nighter setting spray. It's a cute little mini thing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That was a lot. We're gonna give this all the chances in the world to be perfect. I'll check in after a couple hours. I don't usually like wearing eye looks like too, too long, but I will check in after a couple hours. So uh, let's cut ahead to that right now. Okay, it's five hours in the future now. So um, I have to say these are holding up really, really well. There's like no creasing. Can you see that? There's like basically no creasing. And I will say these are holding up a lot better than the Tarte ones yesterday. I put up a picture in the video, but there definitely was a little bit of creasing, but I didn't use the primer potion. So I used the primer potion on this and I don't know, it's working really well, basically no creasing. So yay. I still really, really like the palette. Obviously I'll do a multiple looks video on it though. So we can really test it out. Okay back to the video now okay guys i think that's it i really hope you guys enjoy this video let me know what you think of this palette are you going to get this palette are you excited by it i definitely definitely recommend it it is a little pricey but i just think the quality is actually so so good you know i might even like the Too Faced formula more than the tarte formula which i just reviewed this palette and i freaking loved it like i really really love this palette um but i don't know like these shadows are really really good i'm getting into the formula a lot so anyway i really really like this i would also recommend this in addition to the pineapple palette, obviously you can choose one, you don't need both of them, but um, it just depends on like your color preference. But I really, really like this. I'm into it. I will definitely do a multiple looks video on this soon. I know I have so many like palettes that I have to do multiple looks video on, videos on, it's crazy, but I will get to it. So thank you guys for bearing with me and thank you guys for hanging out with me and happy Saturday. I'm, I'll probably post this today. <sighs> We're gonna see. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will just see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.